Welcome friends. In our previous video, we went over how to use FaceGen Artist Pro 4.2 to create a custom face for our Daz character. In this video, we'll be going over how to bring that character into uh, Daz Studio, namely the shape and the image textures. So we saved it as a Genesis 8.1 male. So that's what we will be creating here. So let's go ahead and load a generic Genesis 8.1 character. I'll go to Genesis 8 male and click double click on Genesis 8.1 basic male. Uh, I am in the filament PBR uh, shading so that helps us uh, get an idea of what what's going on without using too many resources so let's use some clothing right quick character no nope, sorry clothing base wear and let's use this second outfit let's go ahead and zoom in and let's go to close that right quick go to parameters parameters actor let's make sure we are okay I didn't do that right fit to Genesis a1 male fit to Genesis a1 male all right anyways actor let's do head and you should have a heading under here it says face gen and you will have all the shapes of face gen artist pro pictures that you've already processed so we called ours DTB so we'll go ahead and apply that 100% and that should approach what you have going on um, in face gen artist pro so now we need to apply the textures um, one thing I will note is that the textures you're doing will only be the um, base diffuse so example arms right here this is the only one we'll be changing or that we have from face gen anything else like the translucency color or any normal maps or anything like that will not be available from face gen so one solution is to use another character's textures of the same type and then apply your face gen textures in this case you need genesis 8.1 male texture so let's see if we can get some of those so under genesis 8 male we go to materials go to iray um, you do have a couple of types already available. I don't have a custom character that has a Genesis 8.1 mixed, uh, just Genesis 8, so I'm going to use one of these. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and uh, I guess we'll use Map B. And then it won't be an exact match, but close. And then we'll take the base color, click on the icon, go to browse. We go back up to textures, and there should be a face gen folder here. Double click on that, go to Genesis 8.1 male, go to DTB for our character, click on arms. Um, before we go, let's go ahead and click in this area and explore and control C to copy that path because we will need to come back here several times. Hit open. So that changed the arms. Now let's do body. Same process. Go to browse. Click in here. Hit control V to go to that same path we're back where we were before click on body now 
the body's changed. Um, cornea, we don't have a image texture here, so don't worry about it. Ears, we will need the face. Go to browse, paste, click that. So that has changed. Let's go to IRA right quick to see the differences. Because you're not really seeing a lot of differences in that view. Well, they're about the same color, so I did choose a good um, a good uh, set right here. Eye moisture, let's not worry about that. Eye socket, we'll use the face again. Since we already brought it in, we just need to go to this list and click on it. Face, same deal. Let's go to this. And now we see our character as we had it before in face gen. Fingernails, the arms, head, that'll be a new one. So let's go to browse again. Head, uh, irises. I'm going to go ahead and bring this in, but um, you'll probably see how this is not a good idea and we'll need to use another character's eyes. Um, one of the reasons is that, you know, when you're taking pictures in real life, you're going to have like camera flashes, lights reflecting off the eyes and things like that, and it's just not going to be a good look. And sometimes what happens is you end up getting part of your um, eyelids and the texture for the eyes, and it, it just looks horrible. Let's go ahead, doing this in order, let's go ahead and do legs. And we should have everything in now, so we don't have to keep going back to browse for the rest of these. Lips, again with the face texture. Um, for the mouth, I just use the default. It doesn't really matter. Eyes, we're going to go back to the eye texture for right now. You can see right here we got some kind of pinkish color going on that might be from my eyelids or from another light source. Sclera, same thing. We're going to go back to the eyes, and it, yeah, it is. It just some of that might be red in my eyes, but still not what we're going for. Teeth, I'll keep that the same, and then toenails, we'll use the legs texture. So let's go back to iRay. So this is what our character will look like at, at the base. Um, like I said, the facial hair will become part of the image, the, you know, the face texture. So it might not look the best because it's going to be flat. And the eyes, I mean, you know, I just it's just hard to justify that at this point. So I'm just gonna find another character. Um, really doesn't matter who. And I'll just use this character right here. Okay, those look a lot better. Um, everything's looking a little reddish, um, more so than I like. So we can go to services here. Close that for a moment and go back up to skin, lip, nails, and translucency color and translucency weight usually have a lot to do with this. So if I move down the weight, it that helps some. And then I'm going to bring this color. I'm just going to take this and try to darken it and see what happens. Oh, that, that looks a lot. A lot better than what we had. So messing with these two values will give yield a different result. And again, you want to pay attention to what type of picture you're taking. In my case, uh, I got kind of a shadow here. 
from because uh, the picture was taken a little bit too far to this side um, you can get some of this out of the way with uh, Photoshop or something like that or GIMP uh, let's see so the other part is the facial hair which isn't looking all that great so I'm just going to use some facial hair from um, what I already have in my library See, so we'll go to hair and SDEB. Let's see. I'll use I'll use this one to kind of cover that up. And so they kind of combine together to give a overall good effect. And then I need hair for the top of the head, of course. Let's see. I generally go with this one. Let's go back to iRay. So here's our character in comparison to what we initially had in uh, face gen artist pro so that's about does it for this video what we're going to do in the next video is export our character from this um, DAS studio into blender using the, the diffeomorphic DAS importer thanks for watching see you next time